Through this resolution, we encourage the Government of Sri Lanka to implement the constructive recommendations of the Lessons Learned and Reconciliation Commission and the recommendations in the High Commissioner's report to take additional measures to fulfill its obligations and commitments on accountability and reconciliation, and to address concerns on issues of the rule of law and human rights in Sri Lanka today. The United States stands ready to assist with this vital work. Sri Lanka must take meaningful action on reconciliation and accountability and address the growing concerns over the deteriorating human rights situation. I must stress that those genuinely concerned about the future well-being of the people of Sri Lanka should encourage the country in its ongoing reconciliation process rather than single it out for disproportionate attention of this Council. I must point out that the Sri Lankan conflict ended three years and ten months ago. There are other ongoing conflicts and reported violations of rights as we speak in several parts of the world. Our concern is why this preoccupation with Sri Lanka. Firstly, the preambular part of the text we believe is highly intrusive, is replete with misrepresent misrepresentations, and in its overall scope, accentuates the negative and eliminates or is dismissive of the positive. It also casts aspersions upon domestic processes that are ongoing without any foundation. We reiterate our call for an independent and credible investigation into allegations of human rights violations and loss of civilian lives. We urge Sri Lanka to take forward measures to ensure accountability. We expect these measures to be to the satisfaction of the international community. Sri Lanka needs to be given the time and the space to address those challenges in a comprehensive manner by, by completing its domestic reconciliation process. What it does not need is to be subjected to highly critical and intrusive decisions by this council. It is therefore the consi considered view of my delegation that a draft resolution which bases itself on a report whose credibility is so blatantly questioned by many, including the country concerned, cannot be conceived by this August body as being a reasonable basis for further engagement of that country in a constructive manner. The results of the recorded votes are as follows. 25 in favor, 13 against, 8 abstentions. Draft proposal L.1 slash revision 1 is therefore adopted. <laughs>